Do you guys have any idea how hard it is going from not filming your face for about, I don't know, three to five months and then coming back into it like, oh, it's no big deal. I can just pick up right where I left off. It's not like that. I have probably messed with my camera settings for about the past 45 minutes. Um, so yeah, today's video is going to be one of my most highly requested, kind of what my channel started off with and what I was most known for. We're gonna do a big ass beauty empties. I have a lot of stuff to go through. I'm gonna try my best to do it quickly. We all know how fun I am when it comes to empties. I love to babble, I love to screw up, and that's just who I am. No apologies. So anyway, let's just get right into it. Yes, I do have my wine empties. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot. I'll save those to the end, just like I did on the last empties video. I don't know, back when dinosaurs roamed the earth when I last filmed. So there's no rhyme or reason, no order, not even gonna bother organizing. We're just gonna start grabbing. Okay, first thing I have here is a, what is this? This is a, oh my God, it's a lipstick. <laughs> um, this is by Flower Beauty. This is the Color Proof Longwear Lip Cream in the shade I'm Blushing. It's very similar to what I'm wearing on my lips right now, a little bit deeper than what I'm, what I'm wearing on my lips right now, oh my God. Um, but I do like it, but I have other things in my, my collection that's the same color, so I'm not too worried about it. Does that make sense? I hope so. Um, the next thing I have here is a face wash, and this is the Perfectly Posh Look Natural BFF Exfoliating Daily Face Wash. I love this stuff. This has those little like micro scratchy beads. They're not beads, They're it's like volcanic ash or something. There's something in it that really, really exfoliates your face and I love it. It smelled like grapefruit um, and peppermint kind of mixed together. Very refreshing, very invigorating. I will repurchase this, I'm sure, once I get through a couple other of my face products, if you will. Spiced Apple Bourbon from Bath & Body Works. This is delicious. I wish they would come back out with this scent. It literally smells like this amazing, like apple cinnamon bourbon. It's, um, it's delicious. I absolutely loved it. Like I said, I would repurchase that in a heartbeat. Another soap I have here is Blueberry Crumble by Bath & Body Works. This is in the foaming version. Um, again, love this. I have four backups of this one. Nick finished this one up. I don't know what's on it. I think it's lotion. That's gross. This is the Old Spice Ambassador Body Wash. Um, we all know Nick. He uses stuff up. He really doesn't care. He doesn't give me any feedback. He just throws it in my empties bin. Thank you. Schmitz Natural Deodorant in Lavender and Sage. I really like Schmitz. It's actually the only deodorant I've used now for the past three or four years. I don't remember. I My favorite one, I think, is the Rose and Vanilla scent or the Unscented Fragrance Free, whatever it is. I like that deodorant because it has no... Um, Aluminum, it's got no polyethylene, poly, some kind of glycol, all right? It doesn't have all the bad stuff and I really like it and it works. Okay, I used up a room spray and this is from Zany Laney, which is a uh, small business owner. She used to make wax, she might now, I don't know. I haven't really bought from her in a long time. But anyway, this was a room spray in the scent Rich Stuff, which was peach, ginger, and paprika. It was interesting, not my favorite blend, but it was interesting. I used it up as a bathroom spray. This is Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes by Equate, just the Walmart brand. I really like these. I think I talk shit once in a while, like way back in the day. I don't know why I did. I think it was over the fragrance of these. They have a little bit of a fragrance to them. I really like these though, because they're very big. They have the towelettes themselves are really large. They're nice and damp and they really do remove everything. I use them for swatches. I use them on my face. I use them to actually clean my brushes sometimes. I really do like them and I always repurchase them. Victoria's Secret uh, Body Spray in Aqua Kiss. I used this up in the bathroom as a bathroom spray. I'm kind of getting over the body mist thing. I have so many perfumes, you guys. It's absolutely ridiculous. You've seen those videos. I'm not even gonna bother bringing them up. Bath & Body Works Garden Sage and Mint uh, Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. I liked this one. Nobody else in the house did. Don't know why, but I liked it a lot. Um, yeah, used it up in the kitchen. It was great. Okay, we have some declutter style except I'm throwing them away, makeup, a lot of them in fact. Um, so these are not empty, they're just getting removed from my collection for various reasons one way or another. This first one here is a lip gloss by e.l.f. and this is the Shimmer Gloss in the shade, I don't know because they're all numbers, it's just this really vibrant pink. Um, number one, I don't wear vibrant pink like this anymore. Number two, I don't remember where I even got it, so 
It's obviously been there a while. This one, oh, this one makes me mad. I have talked about Gade Cosmetics in the past on my channel. They sent me a bunch of stuff um, through giveaways and things like that, free, you know, PR, whatever. And this is the Gade, what is this called? Uh, Crystal Lights Gold, or Gloss in the shade Goldstone. And these are really just kind of your standard gloss packaging with a mirror on it and it's square, whatever. But here's the problem. I love the color. I love the consistency of the gloss, but do you see how bad this sucker leaks? This leaks everywhere. It makes a mess in all my drawers. I'm just, I'm not going to deal with it anymore. ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Sequin. I've had this for literally like three years. It's a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow, you guys. Um, it's just, it's pretty much dried out at this point and for a five dollar, you know, shadow, I can always repurchase it. I think Sequin is pretty readily available. This is Seraphine Botanicals Lychee, Lychee and Gold Healthy Glow Rose Gold Blush. I have blushes that look exactly like this and the only reason why I'm getting rid of it honestly instead of giving it away is it's shattered and I'm not in the mood to repress it. This might shock a lot of you. It shocks me. I still keep teetering back and forth if I really want to do this, but I'm going to do this. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in the shade Sunny. If you guys have seen my Project Pans, if you have watched my channel for a long time, this little $3 whatever bronzer was my favorite bronzer of all time for years and I've used it to death and this isn't even my first one. I just, there's other things I like better now. Lip mask. This is by Perfectly Posh. That hair did not come with it. That is gross. Um, this is the Goodnight Kisses All Night Sexy Softening Lip Mask. I didn't like this and I'll explain why. I loved the scent of it because it was very pepperminty. Um, it was very like oily, not in a bad way, but when you put it on, it would melt on your lips and make like an oil mask. What I didn't like about it was it was very grainy when you first put it on and you had to like rub it to get it to actually melt down into the oil. So it, oftentimes it literally just felt like I was putting on this like, I don't even know, like instant mashed potatoes on my lips. It sounds so gross, but that's exactly how it happens. Um, this blush, Milan, oh, what? Milani Powder Blush, and this is in the shade Romantic Rose. Again, if you've watched my channel for an extensive amount of time, you know I love this blush. I love the color. I would absolutely repurchase this. The only problem that I have is that this sucker gets hard pan so fast. You can kind of see on the powder, see how shiny it is? How can I use it? I can't. I love the color, love the color, but what can you do? Cover Girl, what is this? This is a gloss that I don't even remember what it's called. Don't remember the name of it because it's so old. It looks like this. It's a great gloss. Wouldn't repurchase it. I don't even know if you can. It's literally that old, so. Touch and Soul, uh, Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. I love the idea of this. I love the way they look, but the problem with these little samples is that they dry out really fast. Okay, Lancome Renergy Lift Multi Action Eye. Uh, cream. <laughs> I love this stuff, actually. This lasted for freaking ever. You didn't need a lot. It spread really well, and it actually did do a great job um, on my under eyes, and then it also, I think this one had SPF in it. Okay, Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. This was like a little mini lip balm from Fresh. I loved this stuff. It smelled like lemons. It was amazing. I loved the way it felt. It reminded me a lot of the Bite Beauty uh, Agave lip balm stuff. Really, really liked it. Would repurchase it and probably will once I get through some of my other lip balms that I have. Anyway, so this is by the brand Yada and it's like a Korean uh, beauty brand and it's the Silky Fit Concealer BB Power Brightening BB Cream. It just didn't have any tint to it whatsoever. Um, it says that it has a whitening effect, anti-wrinkle and sunscreen. Oh, real quick, Perfectly Posh. This was one of their samples of their chunk bars. It's a big giant soap bar. And this was in the scent Field Better Soon, which was a lavender. Um, and this one had like oats and honey or something in it. Um, I don't remember, but either way, I love their chunk soaps. I have a bunch of them. This is just not a scent that I like. I'm not a huge fan of lavender. This is the Caviar Anti-Aging Anti-Frizz Shampoo and Conditioner uh, sample that I got. Again, I think it was in Sephora Play. Again, it was kind of, eh, I didn't notice a difference. It's really hard to notice a difference in a shampoo and conditioner when you only get one sample. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of like skincare. You gotta use it often, regularly to actually see a difference. So based on just the consistency, the texture and the smell, I wouldn't buy it. For all I know, it's great. Same thing with the Whey set right here. I have the sham volume shampoo and the volume conditioner. Didn't notice a difference of anything. Um, this is a bodybuilding shampoo and conditioner, so it's meant for volumizing, which again, I don't need. 
Okay, Ardell Wispies. I love them. I'm wearing them today. I wear them all the time. They're my kind of everyday go-to lash because they're a little bit natural, but they definitely add something. Two very, very, very dramatic lashes that I absolutely love. Um, Chicago by Lily Lashes. I don't have them to show you because we all know I lose lashes every time I take them off, so it is what it is. Um, but yes, Chicago. Beautiful, thick, fluffy, gorgeous. Dallas. These are very, very dramatic. They have a very like cat eye effect where the outside is very long and feathery and beautiful. Wouldn't repurchase Dallas. I do have one more pair left, but I would repurchase Chicago. Ardell Wispies. Ardell Wispies number 113. These are basically the Wispies, just a lot longer. Ardell Wispies. The packaging for Ardell Wispies. Another Ardell Wispies. Another package of Ardell Wispies. More Ardell Wispies. Oh, these were Salon Perfect Silk Noir. They're the number 652. They come in a pack of three. These were nice. They're just not the style that I should have picked. Um, these ones had like the gapping in between instead of being just a flush band. They all, they had like, you know, lash, lash, lash. Just not my favorite style. Ardell Wispies, Ardell Wispies, Ardell Wispies. Ardell Wispies and Ardell Wispies. The end. Holy buckets of God, I have went through a lot of lashes. Wander Beauty. These are the Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. They were okay. I'll say one thing. Um, they fit really well and they felt really comfortable under the eyes. They were very, like, paper thin. They weren't the gel under eye masks or anything like that. I can't tell you that they did anything for me. Again, one-time use skincare isn't exactly the uh, easiest way of doing things. Bosha Detoxifying Black Cleanser. This was obviously a sample that I got. This one was really weird. I didn't find that it really did much of anything for my face, but what was odd is when you put this on, it actually warmed up and heated up on your face, which was very, very uncomfortable, and I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, let's see, another declutter. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the shade Enchantment. I just don't like the formula of these anymore. Um, they just, they get kind of chunky around the edges of your lips. So they're just kind of a pain in the ass to put on. Would not repurchase, like the color, wouldn't repurchase the formula. Stila Got Inked Cushion Eyeliner. Would never repurchase another cushion eyeliner, ever. I love gel eyeliners, but these cushion ones, they run out and dry out so fast and they're really just patchy and they're kind of sheer, not my jam. Luckily I got that on sale from Stila for like three bucks, so I'm not, you know, regretting it, but good lord. Um, this was, I think, a sample of the Cover Effects Gripping Primer, Face Gripping Primer. It was okay. Um, my issue so, isn't so much that my makeup doesn't stay on all day, my issue is just that I have a lot of fine lines and, you know, pores, so it, it didn't really fix those things. I finished up an eyeshadow. I know, crazy, right? Um, this originally was a very pale, like, skin tone shadow from the BH Cosmetics and Shan XO eyeshadow palette. Arch Arrival, oh sorry, this is the brand Sugar. Arch Arrival Brow Definer in the shade Taupe Tom. This is an eyebrow pencil in the shape of a triangle, kind of like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I loved this. I used this sucker for literally almost a straight year and it worked really well. The color was perfect for my brows. And then two perfume samples. We have the Versace Bright Crystal. I used to wear this when I was a teenager. I mean like literally religiously. This is what I smelled like. This was my signature scent. Since then I've kind of gotten out of it and nowadays it really doesn't last on my skin. And then I have this Guerlain Chalamar Eau de Toilette. I think this was a men's cologne. Sometimes I wear men's cologne. I like it. I lied. I think this was a female. I'm not really sure. It smells good. That's all I know. Um, I liked it. I wouldn't go out and purchase it. I have this Ren Pure Activated Charcoal Coconut Milk Detoxifying Body Wash. This is a monster. This lasted me like two years. It was crazy. Um, and yeah, it just, it was a body wash. Not anything I would repurchase. It was okay. No big deal. Moving on. Um, by the way, the wine bottles behind me on the dresser backdrop that I have, they are technically empties and they are actually empties from the last time you saw me do an empties, but I'm not going to talk about them because they're actually part of my decor. But I will say that this one hanging out back here, I'm depressed that it's gone because they sold out at my local winery and I can't get it right now. Next, I have another perfume sample. This was the Jimmy Choo, just Jimmy Choo. I like the way it smelled, but it's, I thought I liked it a lot more when I got the sample of it than when I actually finished using it. Not, just not my thing. Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Brightening Serum. It was just this tiny little container. It sat okay under makeup. Can't really talk about how good it was for the skin because again, 
samples. <laughs> Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum, Radiant Serum. I used this whole thing up, well, other than that little dot right there that I can't get out. I liked this. Um, again, it sat really well under makeup. It didn't ball up. It was really hydrating. Didn't mind this at all. Actually really liked it. We have the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. This was my holy grail ride or die mascara. Um, I don't know if it is anymore. I do have a full size, but I'm trying to get through a lot of my sample sizes of other ones before they go bad. Um, perfume sample in Kat Von D Saint. Meh. It's just a perfume. It does, it, they need to stand out. For me to add to my monstrously huge collection, they have to really, really be something that I don't have. Um, this was a sample of the Rose... The Fresh Rose something face moisturizer. It was actually good. I don't like the smell of rose. In fact, I hate the smell of rose, but I could deal with it in this. It wasn't super, super strong, um, but it was actually really nice. I do, I did really like that sample. Oh, House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. This is eyelash glue for false lashes. This is the best of the best of the best. In fact, I have been missing this. There is like a fuzz flying around everywhere. Um, I've been missing this since I ran out of it. This is like, this will hold this down in a hurricane. You can be in a tornado and it'll hold your lashes on. Right now I'm using the Kiss Lash Glue. It's very good and I do like it, but there's nothing that compares to this so far. This is the DLS Cosmetics Chocolate Gel Eyeliner. You guys, I, it's, it's by Bang Beauty, I guess. I don't know. She sent this to me. It was brand new, right? And literally within a month I went to go use it and it was so dry. I shoved the back of my brush in the back of it to see if it was like, you know, a dry layer on top and not underneath and look what it did. Like that is as dried out as dry gets. I went through an eyeliner. This is the, oh my God, Sephora just black gel eyeliner. This was really good. I actually really liked it and obviously used it all the way up. NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Tea and Cookies. Um, I think I'm just decluttering this because I don't like the color. Yeah, this, this is just fine. It's just a really, you know, pale, pink, petal pink. I'm not a pink person anymore. I've moved on from that. So just wouldn't, wouldn't use it because it's pink. Uh, this was the Maybelline Fit Me uh, concealer. This used to be one of my favorite concealers. I actually have two backups of it that I'm probably going to give away because I just don't, I'm not going to use them. I have other ones that I've found since I love more, but I did use this up completely. I scraped it out. Everything is, I mean, it is donezo. Um, did like it, do like it, but I prefer more full coverage concealers. Oh, Unique. This is another lip liner in the shade Perky. Um, it's completely dried out as these all of Unique's pencils do in a very short amount of time. I would never repurchase anything on from Unique except for like one or two things I've already talked about before. Um, but yeah, this was just a like fluorescent fuchsia pink. Not my thing. You can get these from NYX for two, three bucks and they're way better. Oh look, another one from Unique in the shade Pompous. Love the color. Again, it's this beautiful deep plum and it's all dried up. And this is the uh, lip liner. Yeah. Goodbye. Tarte Light Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. Meh. It was okay. It made my lashes black, but it didn't do much else. Um, that's what the wand looks like. Completely dried out. I did use it, but again, meh. That's it for beauty empties, you guys. Oh my God. Um, so I'm going to break here to let you guys go if you want. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'm coming back. The makeup is coming back to a point. We'll see. We'll see how you guys take to it. Um, but yeah, I do all kinds of videos, makeup, wax, lifestyle, home stuff vlog. Sure. Why not? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are here only for the beauty empties, if you are here for the wine empties, just keep on watching. God, this video is so freaking long. It's ridiculous. Okay. Let's talk wine. We're not going to like hover over these for very long because yeah. Prairie Berry Winery, local winery to me. It is using only local ingredients to my area of South Dakota, my favorite winery of all time. They are available online at prairieberrywinery.com. If you would like to order, they will ship. So let's move on. So this is from last year's labeling. They do have this out right now as we speak, just a different label. This is Pumpkin Bog, which is 75% pumpkin and 25% cranberry wine. This is one of my favorite wines to mull with mulling spices in the crock pot and drink it hot. Um, always repurchase it. I have one right now sitting in my wine rack. Pardon me for bending down quite a bit, you guys too, by the way. I apologize. Everything's on the floor. Um, crab apple fruit table wine, again from Prairie Berry. This one Nick really liked. It's a semi-sweet wine, um, obviously made from crab apples and grapes. We actually brew our own, if you want to call it brew, we, we make our own crab apple wine here 
from our own crab apples. So I don't know if I would go out and look for this one. It's just not my favorite and Prairie Berry has a lot of favorites. So I have to be very, very picky on what I do purchase. Otherwise I will be overloaded with wine the same way I'm overloaded with makeup and wax. <laughs> Um, this one is one of my favorites, like I was just saying. I'm very picky. This one is currently not available right now. They do seasonal stuff, so I mean, they might bring it back next year. It's really hard to say because all of the ingredients are local. It's not always a guarantee that stuff will come back. But this one is the uh, flavor Blue Suede Shoes. Love this one. So this is a grape wine, but it also has blueberry in it as well. So this is just a beautiful, light, summery, just really sweet, deep, undertoned blueberry wine. Amazing. Love it. Would always repurchase. Have two backups. Oh, let me grab the last four. Yes, I know. There's a lot. In fact, there's more. I've thrown a few bottles away. I'm not going to talk about them because I just don't want to. <laughs> this one I personally hate. Nick loves it. I hate it. That's a strong word coming from somebody who loves wine so much. This is raspberry honey wine. It's supposed to be a raspberry honey wine. It tastes like Robitussin to me. If I'm going to be honest with you, don't recommend it unless you love the taste of Robitussin. If you do, all the power to you. I think it's gross. So there's that. This one only came out in the wine subscription that I'm part of. I'm, it's called a Gen 5 Wine Club member. We basically get four shipments of wine a year. Uh, they pick four of their wines and they send them to you and you get discounts, you know, on wine, all that stuff. It's just basically like a VIP member. And they sent this out in our subscription. This is the only place that it, they had it. They didn't sell it in store or anything. Otherwise I would have bought it. Cause again, we have blueberry honey wine. It was delicious. Um, I would love to repurchase this, but I can't cause it's not available right now. And I don't know if it's ever going to be, but if it is, I will purchase it. By the way, I prefer all sweet or semi-sweet wines. I'm not a dry wine person. You will probably not see very many drier wines often reviewed here on my channel. Lawrence Elk. This is Nick's like all-time favorite. I don't know if I said that about the raspberry honey wine. If I did, I was wrong. This is his all-time favorite, but he does like the raspberry honey wine. Um, and this is a black currant wine. Beautiful. This is available all year round. It is a deep, semi-sweet, aromatic, very fragrant wine. Um, if you like tart wines, this is where to go. Beautiful, beautiful wine. I love it. He loves it. Definitely would repurchase. Strawberry Fusion. This one they put out in the summer usually, and it's just a strawberry table wine. Really sweet. This is like a dessert wine that you would pair with something at home. Um, it's great. I would repurchase it. I like it a lot. And I think, is that the only one? I think that's it, you guys. Hold on. Let me look. Oh, I lied. I just have a second pumpkin bog. So this is this is number two. Again, I love to mull this in the crock pot and drink it hot. It's it's not my favorite on cold, um, but I do really like it drunk, drunk. <laughs> I really like it when I drink it mulled. So great fall wine if you really are into fall wines. All right, now that I am completely out of breath, completely out of battery, completely out of sorts, I'm just, I'm, I'm crazy today. Um, yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for sticking through and watching. Thank you so much for staying subscribed during my period of random makeup absence, if you will. I hope to bring you more videos more often now that I am kind of calming down with what's been going on in my life. Like I said, yes, I will do a video. I know I've been promising it for about, you know, two months, but it's going to happen. It's just a matter of getting things processed before I can start talking about it. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a process. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you choose to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you all later.